My name is Sister Lydia Monse. I belong to the Sisters of the Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, SABS, in short, Adoration Sisters. I'm doing Bachelor of Theology, I'm in second year. Coming to Ekima for me, it's like a, a miracle because I've, I never heard of Ekima. I never knew, I never, I have never, never heard of a, a Jesuit school of theology in Nairobi. So it was my first time when I was called by my superior and I was given a link who told me I have to apply for, for theology. I had to be open, I had to be flexible, and I accepted it as a challenge for me. To, to come and learn more. One of the things that pushed me to come to theology is the, the questions I had of my own faith experience. So coming to theology, I knew some of those questions are going to be answered. And studying about God, for a religious, that is enjoyable. Yeah. Any other things besides that, I knew only theology is for those who are going to train to be priests, but given a chance to start that i found it it was good for me to do it to take the challenge up yeah for me ekima is an excellent institution surely excellent yeah compared with all the institutions i've gone to ekima has a, something special i don't know is it because it is training people on the, on the religious grounds or but there is something special in ekima one i will say where well, the modes of teaching in Ekima are very, very, very different. And they are, the, the different approaches that the lecturers are using in class are just amazing. You enter to class, it's not only one, one boring mode of teaching that you will listen from the beginning of the semester to the end of the semester. One lecturer comes with, you have to do presentations. Another one comes with lecturing. Another one gives you, go and do research and write a paper. Another one tells you, you are not going to do a sitting exam, you are going to do a paper. For me, that is that is an exciting. It gives you an opportunity to learn so many things in so many ways, and that variety brings beauty in the whole thing. Our relationship with the lecturer-student relationship is just perfect. It's it's that friendly. The the lecturers always available. Uh, you go to the lecturers asking questions, and one a person is ever ready to help you, ever ready to see that you have been helped. Even if he himself can't provide that help, they see that you have been, you have been helped. The most exciting thing is when they give you assignments, and these assignments, they are not just, just abandoned with the student to do it. The lecturers are there to journey with you to see that really the students has understood what I want them to do, and they do what I want them to do. For me, that, that is something good. Number two, in Ekima, you, you realize that we are not left alone like students. One thing I discovered is that in Ekima, every student is assigned with a, a, an academic advisor. This person ensures that the student is comfortable, all the problems of the student is solved, and that's the most exciting thing. Uh, with the student-student student relationship, I think it's a healthy relationship. That friendly, jovial, joking, helping one another in, in all spheres of life. I'm, I'm on a scholarship, that's St. Ignatius Scholarship for Women Theologians. And uh, for me, that is the most important thing in, in, in my whole academic life. I have, uh, in my whole academic life, I've started paying my own school fees or my parents paying school fees. But being given a chance that somebody else is paying your school fees, giving you a chance to study, that's an amazing thing, yeah. So they have given me a chance as a woman to do to do something that I could not be able to do by myself. You know, if I went to my congregation or if I went to my parents to finance my education in theology, they will tell you you already have enough. But when I applied to, to a Kima, they never looked at the certificates I have. They thought we can empower this this sister in a in another way. So I was given that chance to do that. And whoever finances that, that, that scholarship, I will be, I will appreciate. Definitely, yeah. definitely. The things I have learned in Ekima, I have learned to interact. I am that one person who is to herself, but Ekima has opened me to interact with the people from different countries, different cultures, different backgrounds, people from the, uh, the opposite sex. So Ekima has exposed me to interact in such a way that 
I look at myself, I am not the same person who came to Wekima in the first year. There are things that have tremendously changed and I appreciate that. So one thing I would like is that many women do theology. You know, many problems that we have in the religious, in the female religious congregations could be solved if majority of the sisters did theology. Yeah, but because we leave theology, it's a male-dominated field to the, to, the, to the men, so we remain with our problems. But financing the women to do theology, I think it's, it's, it's the most exciting thing. And for me, I am resolved to encourage my superior to send more sisters to do theology. Uh, at the beginning of theology, I was thinking, yeah, be, my congregation has sent me to theology to do theology and go back and do formation. But now something else is triggering deep within myself. Yeah, it is possible that I can leave that career path that I had already. Uh, I, I was focused to pursue and pursue theology. It is interesting to study theology and. Yes, if given a chance, and if there is a possibility for me to continue uh, to take theology to a higher level, I will go for that. 